Hello. In this video, I will show you how you can design a variable power supply with adjustable voltage and current using LM317IC, BD139 and TP3055 transistors. The presented circuit is capable of providing a variable voltage of 1.2 to 21 volts and a variable current of 0 to 5 amperes. By increasing the number of TP3055 power transistors, you can increase the output current of this circuit. The schematic diagram of this variable power supply is shown here, and you can follow it to make it by yourself. Let's start designing of this circuit by first taking a heat sink and attaching LM317, BD139 and TP3055 to it. Next, take a PCB board and mount these components onto it as shown next. With a cutting plier, cut the extra legs of the components soldered. Take a 2-pin block connector and solder it to the PCB. This will be the input connection point. Take a 10 kilo ohm resistor and solder it near the input side along with an LED for power indication. Take one N4007 diode and solder it between the output of LM317 and base of BD139 as shown in the schematic diagram. Also solder the 220 ohm resistor as shown in the circuit diagram. Now take a pair of two pin block connectors and solder it on the other side of the PCB board for ampere meter and output connection, respectively. Here I will be using these multi-turn potentiometers for tuning the voltage and current as they provide more precise calibration. Solder the potentiometer wires as indicated in the schematic diagram. The PCB traces needs to be thick enough to allow passage of high current. Here is the final version of the designed power supply circuit. I have mounted the circuit and potentiometers on another board using double-sided tape for testing purpose. The input is connected to a 24 volts 20 ampere SMPS and the output is connected to a light bulb in series with an ampere meter. Here you can see that the load is drawing around 2.4 amperes current at 12 volts, which can be adjusted using the current potentiometer.
The voltage potentiometer is also working as expected. Here is another load, which is a 12 volts DC fan, which is drawing 0.12 amperes at 12 volts, and can be adjusted as per requirements. If you have enjoyed the tutorial, then subscribe to my YouTube channel for more interesting videos. See you later!